Hello again. Very good evening to you and welcome to your latest Met Office weather update. Whilst across many central and eastern parts it should stay largely dry overnight, it's a different story further west. We have a low pressure system pushing its way in and associated fronts likely to bring some wet and windy weather to some parts as we go through the night. Also, we do have an occluded front affecting parts of northwestern Scotland through this evening, and that is bringing some rain, but that will clear away towards the north as we go through the next few hours. Like I said, though, it's across western areas we are going to have some heavy rain, initially across Northern Ireland with some strong winds mixed in, and that rain then pushing into far western parts of England, Wales, and Scotland as we head towards dawn. To the east of this, though, staying largely dry, and there may even be some breaks in the cloud. And so whilst for many, temperatures are going to hold up several degrees above freezing. In sheltered spots where we see the cloud clearing, we could see a touch of frost, perhaps even a few pockets of fog first thing on Tuesday morning. Though, the most hazardous weather is going to be in the west, where we have strong winds and heavy rain. Quite widely, we're going to see 15 to 25 millimetres and perhaps 30 to 40 millimetres over the hills and mountains of North Wales. And that rain then continues its way eastwards as we go through the day. It will break up a little bit and ease somewhat, but some heavier bursts are possible. There will also then be some drier interludes mixed in as we go through the afternoon, but still some further outbreaks of rain. And these could be heavy at times. Winds most likely to see the heavier bursts over higher ground towards the west. Quite a bit of cloud around, but with that, we do have some milder air pushing its way in. So temperatures for many are going to be a touch higher than on Monday, highs of around 13 or 14 Celsius. Staying pretty cloudy as we go through the end of the day on Tuesday, further outbreaks of rain for quite a few of us, still some heavy bursts over higher ground towards the west, and then another band of rain sweeps its way in initially across Scotland and Northern Ireland, but then starting to push into the far north of England as we head towards dawn on Wednesday morning. Towards the south of this, across much of England and Wales, it should stay mostly dry, but it is going to be quite cloudy and some strong winds mixed in. As a result, temperatures aren't going to drop a huge amount. Many places holding up in double figures so a pretty mild start to the day on Wednesday morning. Otherwise as we go through the day that band of rain continues to push its way southwards so reaching northern parts of England as we go through the morning but it doesn't move particularly quickly starting to lie somewhere towards the southern Scotland fringing into Northern Ireland and across northern England perhaps North Wales as we go through the afternoon. Across the rest of England and Wales staying mostly dry but pretty cloudy. There won't be a huge amount of sunshine around here. Further north though, across Scotland and behind this frontal system, we should see some decent bright or sunny spells developing. But do watch out for a few showers, particularly towards the northwest of Scotland. And here there are going to be some strong winds. It will be a windy day for many of us, but across the northwest of Scotland, here is where we have the risk of gales, possibly even severe gales around exposed spots. This frontal system then marks the boundary between milder air across the bulk of the country, high of around 14 or 15 Celsius and something a little bit colder across Scotland here temperatures will be markedly lower than across the rest of the country so a bit of a chilly feel especially in those strong winds. More unsettled weather to come as we go through the end of the week. Low pressure moves in as we go through Thursday, bringing some wet and windy weather, particularly towards northern western parts. All the time towards the east, you have a greater chance of staying mostly dry, but there will be some showery bursts at times. There's more information about that in our week ahead forecast, which is available on our YouTube channel. Otherwise, I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.